And good evening, everyone, at 5 o'clock. I'm Bill Ritter. And I'm Shade Better and while we begin with the coronavirus and now let's be clear people traveling between New York, New Jersey and Connecticut are not being asked to quarantine or self isolate. But the surge in cases is so concerning that Governor Cuomo is discouraging discouraging non essential travel. This is a big deal here are the daily positivity rates across the tri state Connecticut at 3% New Jersey just above 4% both states much higher than New York. So how do you prevent a potential area wide surge to the pandemic again? That's the question keeping so many up at night, including New York Governor Cuomo. Our coverage begins with Eyewitness News reporter Marcus Solis live in Greenwich, Connecticut. Marcus. Shade and Bill, with those numbers, New Jersey and Connecticut would make it onto their own travel advisory lists. But preventing people from crossing state borders in the tri-state area is virtually impossible. So now governors are asking residents to limit non-essential travel. Connecticut was seen as one of the better states, the states that was doing well. So I am really surprised to see that it's on the list. <laughs> Melissa Marusak manages a clothing store in Rybrook, but lives less than a mile away in Greenwich, Connecticut, a state where COVID cases have spiked to the point that New York could require visitors to quarantine. I live two streets down from New York State, so, and I work in New York, so, and I go to school in New York, so it is really crazy for me. The recent nationwide surge means 43 states now meet the metrics for New York's travel advisory, including Connecticut and New Jersey. But the tri-state area has been using a regional approach to setting coronavirus guidelines. Governor Cuomo says enforcing travel restrictions on its neighbors is impossible. There are just too many interchanges. Uh, there are too many interconnections. There are too many people who live in one place and work in the other. It would have a disastrous effect on the economy. Those who spend less than 24 hours in one state have always been exempt. There will be no new restrictions, but Governor Ned Lamont of Connecticut is now encouraging residents to avoid travel as much as possible. Yeah, if you don't have to travel, if you don't have to go into parts of Brooklyn and Queens where you've got a 8% positivity rate, uh, don't go. It's really just for essential travel at this point. So basically going forward, the tri-state area will not be subject to that quarantine list. However, the other states will. Governor Cuomo says he will be working with the governors to try and bring down their numbers. A further exp uh, announcement expected on that tomorrow.